Hi, my name is John Cruz, and I'm going to be talking about the techniques and methods that new teams use to create their packages with. I'm nearly done with JLMC 307 now, and I wanted to reflect on the film techniques that news packages borrow and the ones they abandon and why. Naturally, video originates from films, which was the main purpose of the camera in the early 1900s. With the advent of television, visual news had to be created. This required news teams to essentially create short films portraying the news. However, filmmakers often use camera techniques to portray emotion and perspective. So news teams need to find ways to make news packages essentially neutral. One way they did this was through limiting shot composition. News packages still adhere to the ideas of the wide shot, the medium shot, and the close up. But that's about it. For example, the news package doesn't allow for low or high angles. The shot is usually always straight on at medium level. They do this to maintain neutrality because shifting the altitude of the camera in relation to the subject of the shot can greatly change what the shot is trying to convey. As a result, a high angle shot will take away power as it looks down at the subject, and a low angle shot gives the subject power as it looks up at him. Imagine if a news interview was shot with high and low angles. Whoever received the high angle would appear to have the upper hand, and this would give the idea that either the interviewer is manipulating the interviewee or that the interviewee is in control of the conversation. To deal with this, all interviews are shot from medium over the shoulder shots, with the interviewee always in frame as to keep the central point always present. This leaves both the subjects as neutral figures, according to the camera. Another interesting thing that news packages hinder themselves with is the devotion to the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds actually existed a long time ago with early painters discovering that images were more attractive when off to the side instead of directly in the middle. In news, this is taken as the bible on how to line up all shot composition, but there are actually a lot more ways to compose an effective shot. For example, Stanley Kubrick, a famous film director from the mid 20th century, was a strong believer in the single point perspective. This shot composition actually does put the object in the center, instead focusing on the symmetry of the image above all other things. Another popular shot composition technique involves using the golden ratio to compose shots instead of the rule of thirds. Many believe that lining the subject along the golden ratio actually creates a more attractive image than the rule of thirds can. However, both of these alternative techniques don't fit well with news media, not for neutrality's purpose, but for economic purposes. It would take a much longer time to set up a golden ratio or single point perspective shot than the rule of thirds shot. This is especially important when news needs to capture events as they happen. So news packages limit themselves to the shots they create, but they also limit themselves with editing. One of the main rules in 307X was to never use the jump cut. The jump cut was an editing technique developed by French director Jean-Luc Godard in the 1960s to instantly cut from one shot to the next without adherence to continuity. You can see why news teams kept away from jump cuts in the scene from Godard's film Breathless. The scene actively feels like it's skipping over time, distorting the events. The jump cut also has a tendency to see objects in the shot teleport throughout the frame, which can also seem like it's distorting reality. Over time, the shot has been more refined and now it is used to show transitions in time and actively contrast the changes that have occurred in that time frame. But if you think about it, news packages don't exist linearly. They tell their stories in a completely non-linear fashion, so things such as jump cuts, wipes, dissolves, L and J cuts, or even cutting in the action, don't really apply to the news. It's all told in hard cuts. Straightforward, neutral, hard cuts. There's a whole bunch of other things, like lighting, camera movement, and blocking that I could go into, but then the video would probably be 14 minutes alone. For now, I'll just say that shooting for news is non-emotional and straightforward the same way that the news itself should be.